What is going on everyone and welcome back to another squad builder video. Today we're taking a look at a mid-range veteran squad. We're going to be kicking it off with Coschetti, who is AC Milan's manager. He's got coaching affinity, uh, which brings the match experience points gained by players over 29 years of age, increased by 100%. So obviously if you have missed my budget veteran squad builder, you can check that out as well. Or of course you can mix and match a couple of the players from that video with this video to have your own you know 400,000 GP squad. I think this squad comes in over 600,000 GP so only do this squad if you have a lot of GP or you're waiting to make a decision because the managers at the moment are all veteran based managers so I think this is a really nice squad. Kicking us off with our squad is our goalkeeper, Kasper Schmeichel. Now, I've seen a lot of people talk about this guy. 76,000 GP, unwavering form. And the big one that you want to look at there is his reflexes off the rip. 79 goalkeeper reflexes. I've seen Sepp use him. I've seen Arms of Atlas use him. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter talk about him, that he's a man mountain in goals. He has all the low punt, long throw, penalty saver, player skills that you could need. And for that price, you're not going to get a better keeper unless you go a little bit more expensive so we are going to have a bit of a, a bit of a, a crazy squad it's going to be a very aggressive squad you know very aggressive up front very fast and physical and at the back we're going to have a couple of local legends or living legends i should say um pepe is going to be the centerpiece of our back line we're going to be playing a 4-2-2-2 with this formation we're going to be playing quick counter obviously as well to get a lot of chances pepe is an incredible defender he's so so rugged and he won't let you down we're going to pair him up with one of my personal favorites of the game 30 years of age jenny or jenny 32,000 GP. This guy features in my budget squad as well. He is definitely worth a punt. His speed is 71. His acceleration is 68. We're going to probably bring that up to around, you know, the mid uh, 70s to high 70s, maybe low 80s if we're really feeling really feeling like we need a bit of pace back there but for this we're just going to be really trying to get as much possession back as possible being as aggressive as possible with those stats now we're going to take a quick look at him here and you can see that his aggressiveness and his you know ball winning skills are very very nice just off the rip and of course when we do start to boost this up a little bit you've got your speed into nearly the 80s and his acceleration 78 and you've also got him playing you know beside Pepe it's going to be a very aggressive center back partnership a lot of red cards next up we've got Ansaldi so again we've gone for an offensive full back here he can play left back left wing right back right wing um or right mid sorry and left mid this guy is really really good he was a good player in MLO back in the day when he was about 10 years younger 15,000 GP of course you could improve on this guy as well there's lots of other options there but I think for his mixture of form pace speed uh lofted pass all obviously there his stamina really really good option to have as a utility player as well now speaking of utility players danilo huge shout out to craig hunt and a couple of other guys in the comments and on twitter uh, that were sending me in this you know recommendation for danilo obviously we saw that he's got really nice unwavering form he's got nice speed he's got all low to mid range 70s in his stats right and he can also play cb or left back so what a utility man this guy is Un unbelievable player but it's when you start to boost up and max him out that you really start to see his potential of what he could become with a bit of time spent on him so he's a 78 right back that's what he's rated at right here at the moment but when we do boost him up over on eFootball DB and simulate what he could potentially turn into and give a couple of stats into his dribbling his dexterity and his lower body strength which improves his speed and acceleration and his stamina you've got a player that's going to be absolute dynamite up the flank when you're attacking and when you're defending he's not going to let you down and also make sure you keep a couple of for the play style if you want to make his play style a little bit more effective next up we have got the rune so the rune is obviously fifty one thousand as well he is an unwavering form player as well so there's a lot of players in here that are unwavering form and all of them get the boost so there's all of the players are over the age of 30 in this they all get the boost and again when you go through this guy's stats he isn't the he isn't the most notable a name or he doesn't have the high caliber uh you know pizzazz that some of the players on this list has but he's just a very good solid stopper and you're going to play him as an anchoring dm next up we've got andres iniesta so i would advise you guys if you want to save maybe about 30 to 40k 
to check out Santi Carzola. He was in the budget squad builder that we did for the budget veteran squad builder there a couple of days ago or a couple of hours ago, depending on when I upload these. But this guy, I mean, Iniesta, if any of you have played the J League with him, the J League challenge, I mean, look at the stats that he has. Absolutely incredible before you even boost him up. He can go into the 90s in all of those stats that he has there. He is incredible in the game. Next up, we've got Vishka. So this guy obviously has a featured edition of his player card at the moment. I think he's 85 overall. But I always like these players that can play on both flanks that have a really nice balance between the dribbling, the acceleration and the speed, unwavering form. It's the perfect kind of way that you want to have your wingers because you don't ever want your wingers or your fast players to be down. You can get away with having a center back down every now and again or a right back. But for your wingers where you're going to be getting goals from and cutting in and linking everything, you do need them to have unwavering form in my opinion. And this guy, I think this guy is... One of the, I mean, look at it, lads. This guy's stats are absolutely incredible. If you go over to eFootball DB, and I didn't simulate it here because there's so many ways that you can boost him up, this guy's stats are just unbelievable. The potential that he has. He's 76,000 GP. But looking at his stats there, he's got unwavering form, obviously. His speed is solid. His balance is solid. His stamina, stamina is solid. We're going to be playing him left mid in our 4 4 2 um, or 4 2 2 2. Um, now we've got Hulk up front lads a lot of people were messaging me asking me about Hulk and is he any good right we're going to take a quick look at him as our main kind of striker obviously we do have our like up in the air kind of for headers and finishing but for Hulk Hulk is going to be a mix when you're playing with two strikers up front right and you are playing through central positions if you're linking Iniesta with Hulk and the other center forward on this list you do need to have a mixture of speed you know you need to have one that's good in the air for crosses and one that you're able to target and then also one for speed that's able to just finish every time he looks at it and hulk is able to do finish both things right he's able to finish his dinner and he's able to finish his goals and that is why he is in our team he's an absolute beast right so you're going to want to boost up this you can then you can mess around with his things you can obviously turn him to be a bit more defensive but we are trolling a little bit with the stats there but these are the stats that i would probably go for like you've got all your levels there you can decide to boost up his quick counter or his out wide or whatever way you want to do it with cachetti he is a bit of a, a nice versatile option there but 88 overall is is really really nice for hulk and he's just a beast now speaking of beasts we've got cavani not doing it in real life for united unfortunately it's struggling time at the moment but goal poacher he's got unwavering form um he's got like okay acceleration and speed when you boost it up a little bit but i think the big thing here for him is you're going to get him into the 90s in finishing uh low 90s in the finishing and in heading and jump and uh, all that sort of stuff he is a really good option to have he's got the nice height as well he's just able to finish goals from corners which a lot of players aren't able to do especially at that price point eighty two thousand. he is the most expensive player on the game so yeah that is it for another squad builder let me know if you have any other recommendations, guys. I'm going to be keeping these coming. I get a lot of requests for player reviews, a lot of requests for best wonder kids to buy, revisited, and all that sort of stuff. Um, we are going to be bringing a special video quite soon, so keep an eye out for that. It's going to be very, very interesting. It's something that a lot of people are overlooking. But until next time, lads, I hope you enjoyed those picks, and let me know if you try that squad out or you mix some of the players in with your own squad. And, of course, you can mix in legends, featured players, whatever players that you have you can mix in. Until next time, Time, lads peace